In over 30 years as a priest, I've celebrated Mass in many different places for a great variety of communities. There have been city Masses with congregations of several hundred, and there's been Mass celebrated in many smaller rural communities throughout the country. I think of the small communities in, for example, the Chatham Islands, or in Canterbury or Westland or around the country, where there might only be a fewer than a dozen people gathered for the Mass. Some of the large city masses have been wonderful. There's been great visible participation. A lot of work has gone into preparation of uh, music and preparation for each person's role. Wonderful to celebrate mass in these places. But I have to say that some of the most beautiful celebrations of the mass have been in very small, often rural communities, a few people who gather with an awareness of their need for the mass but where there hasn't been a lot of preparation, there's not a lot of great uh, singing and uh, other visible participation. It's very clear to me in those communities especially that the people understand that the Mass is not their creation. Yes, they're taking part in the celebration of the Mass, but they haven't created it. And sometimes when we perhaps are on a liturgy committee in a parish or school, we begin to think that it is our creation that we have to take some basic raw material of the ritual of the Mass and then turn it into something that is attractive. My experience has been that the Mass celebrated, often again with small communities, with a fidelity to the rite and to the liturgy, without too much extra, is a very clear focus on the fact that the Mass is primarily God's work that God is the prime actor in the Mass. Yes, we respond and yes, we participate, but the Mass is really God's action. And that means that uh, we don't have to do a lot of preparation in terms of what we do at the Mass, but at the level of the heart, becoming aware as perhaps we travel to Mass of our need for God, our awareness of our own needs, the reality of our lives, but knowing that we need God to come to us and into us in the Mass. And perhaps therefore I'd like to encourage especially liturgy committees and those preparing Masses uh, to relax a little and often to celebrate the Mass simply as it is. One of the uh, sayings that we have in, uh, in, in the Masses uh, with the, the, the Roman Missal is that we uh, say the black and do the red and we don't have to do a lot more. Talking about the text, of course, we, we say the text that is given and we do the red that we're guided to do by the ritual, uh, but that's often enough. And many people comment to me that they love going to Mass on a weekday when there isn't a lot of other preparation. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to discourage people from preparing beautifully the Mass with music and, and many other aspects of visible and uh, visible participation. But let's remember too that always the Mass is God's work. Yes, our participation in that, but the level of participation we do is primarily in the depth of our heart, becoming aware of our need for God who comes to us and into us in every Mass.